I'm here again. I'm your teacher. I am Sir Franco, and this time I want to teach you how to solve problems involving sets using Venn diagram. And your knowledge about union and intersection of sets will be used here also. Now let us have a problem involving sets using Venn diagram. A survey was made to 40 vloggers whether they use YouTube or TikTok or both. 27 use YouTube and 18 use TikTok. How many use YouTube only? How many use TikTok only? How many use both video sharing platforms? You can answer this using analysis. Since we have 40 vloggers and then we have 27 YouTube vloggers and 18 TikTok users, add this number you get 45. And uh, you will say to yourself, this number exceeds 40. This should not be. But, the excess of this number is actually found in 40. That number must be for those who are using both video sharing platforms. You will say 45 minus 40 is 5. This will be the answer for this one. And then you will go back here. You will say 27 minus 5 equals 22. For those who use YouTube only, we have 22. For those who use TikTok only, we say 18 minus 5 equals 13. That will be for those who use TikTok only. You're done. You have answered all the questions. 1, 2, and 3. But how are we going to answer this using Venn diagram and the union and intersection of sets? Let's try to answer this. Since there are two platforms used by bloggers, TikTok and YouTube, we will use two circles for our Venn diagram. Write this Y for the YouTube users, there are 27. And this circle will be for T or TikTok users and they are 18. Where is that portion of the bloggers who use YouTube only? It is this portion. And uh, where is that portion also for those who use TikTok only? It is this portion. Now, where is that portion for those bloggers who use both video sharing platforms? This one. Okay, so let us have some definitions for our set. Let us have V sub 1 for our blogger. That will be a set of Bloggers who use YouTube only, and we write it here. Another set, V sub 2, is a set of bloggers who use. TikTok only and we write it here V sub 2 another set V sub 3 is a set 
uh, vloggers. Who use both video sharing platforms and this is the one so how are we going to solve now and get the number for vloggers here you using YouTube only for those who are using TikTok only and for those who are using both YouTube and TikTok take note that we have 40 vloggers Therefore, we get the cardinality of these three sets. We say the cardinality of V sub 1 plus the cardinality of V sub 2 plus the cardinality of V sub 3 equals 40. Because there are 40 vloggers. Now, to answer or to get the number of vloggers of each set, again, we have to use this information also. Let us try 27 who use YouTube. So we say that the cardinality of V sub 1 plus the cardinality of V sub 3 equals 27. That will be our equation. Then we subtract. Remove this or cancel this out. Cancel this out. And then we have, what remains we have here, the cardinality of V sub 2 is 13. We have answered this. V sub 2 is a set of vloggers who use TikTok only. Then we have answered question number 2. 13 is the answer. Let us also find other set the value for its set we have v sub 1 and v sub 3 now we also use this notation we also use this equation because we still have other sets to be answered so this time we look for the values of other sets we still have to use this equation. The cardinality of V sub 1 plus the cardinality of V sub 2 plus the cardinality of V sub 3 equals 40. We use this information. 18 use TikTok. So we say that V sub 2 plus V sub 3 equals 18. So we say that the cardinality of V sub 2 plus the cardinality of V sub 3 equals 18. Let us subtract. Cancel this out. Cancel this out. We have the cardinality of V sub 1 equals 22. Where is that V sub 1? Those who use YouTube only. That is 22. How about the last one? How many use both video sharing platforms? How do we solve this? V sub 3. We say V sub cardinality of V sub 1 plus the cardinality of V sub 3 equals 27. Since we have the value of V sub 1, we say the cardinality of V sub 1 equals 22. Did I subtract? Cancel this out. What remains is the cardinality of V sub 3 and that is equal to 5. So, we have the answer for question number 3. How many use both video sharing platforms? 5. That is how to use bin diagram in answering problems involving sets. I already have introduced to you the first problem involving sets using bin diagram and we used only two circles in our bin diagram. 
this is the easiest problem among all and uh, there are other problems including three circles in the diagram so it is also a little bit complicated so I think I will introduce that to you in my next video.